we are almost here. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness will be with us before you know it. And now the director of the film, Sam Raimi, is teasing the different types of flavors in regards to what you can expect from the MCU and also the horror genre. So people still seem a little bit confused in regards to what exactly they mean when they talk about horror in Doctor Strange 2. Again, we know it's not a full-blown horror film. It was never going to be. Recently, Sam Raimi revealed exactly that, saying that when he picked up with what Doctor Strange's former director was doing, aka Scott Derrickson, that he saw what they were doing with the horror genre. And he wanted to add his own spin on it because, again, he's a different type of horror director. So, in regards to that, there's going to be different flavors of horror to different aspects of the universe, the film, and the characters. Now, in my opinion, I think this is great. And let me just explain why. And it's because if you say you're going to one multiverse or the other, or you're looking at the unknown, the eldritch, you know, gods, or the Lovecraftian gods, whatever you want to call them, right? You have to look at eldritch horror in a different way as opposed to something like physical body horror or a thriller built on tension, right? You have to look at it differently. So if you use elements of different flavors of horror, as he puts it, and you put them into different aspects of the film, into different multiverses, then you truly make each one feel a little bit more unique. And in my opinion, this approach makes sense. You can't just have one style of theme slash horror slash feel in a film that's literally about the multiverse. That would be like making Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, but everything looks the same. They all act the same. It's the same animation. They're all the same. You're like, well, that takes away from what made that film special. The unique styles, the unique approach, the unique characters, the unique worlds. So that's how they're approaching this. And again, they're approaching this with different horror flavors. So when you see aspects of it, they need to be different, but also they need to pull from different genres and different films. And I have no doubt you're going to see in this film, Sam Raimi pay tribute to various things he's done on top of various things that have influenced him. For an example of this, go look at the Spider-Man trilogy he made, and then look at the specific callbacks he makes to specific older films, and you're gonna see what was very influential on him. 